Where are we at with groceries? What is this, amateur hour? I'm blacker than the ace of spades and more militant than you and your whole damn army put together. While you out there chanting that gravity, browbeating politicians, I'm taking out any money from the sucker and I'm going to get to my way. You fucking with it. You fucking with a real one. When your so-called revolution starts, you call me. It is now. That's hot shit. And I'll be right down front showing you how it's done. But until then, you need to shut the fuck up and grown folks is talking. Now can you dig it? Ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, the world's first Quantimino-powered podcast live from the Daddy Juice Energy Studio in the Beaded Curtain District. Your star plays Gemini Jackson, the Burrito Bandito, Brian McFly, and Arthur Dude. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, of course, you scholars. I'm your fearless and grizzly host, Gemini Jackson, some of the Quantimino with the model of the millennium, Brian McFly. Hey. And our resident hyena, Arthur Dude. Howdy, ninjas. The burrito bandito. What's up, dudes? Joins us from the other side of the glory hole. Now, let's get this party started with Double, Double X, X Quantimino. 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 Racks on racks on racks. Yeah, let's talk about racks, guys. Racks. Racks. About racks. I'm talking racks. about boobs. <laughs> Okay. I mean, there's, there are a lot no. of ways Breasticles. to go. Where there I thought are a you were lot going. of different racks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go around that. the room. First, I thought racks as in server racks. Yep. Okay. Second, I thought <laughs> racks in, as in racks of cash. Yeah. That's a good guess. And then I went to racks of clothing. Uh huh. Until you said it. Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst to me, it was racks of titties. Yeah. Talk racks, about racks of lambs came before racks of titties in wow. my head. It could be a uh, deer rack. Why are they called that? Because it's racks like they balls rack on together. a rock. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's like a deer thing. No, that doesn't make sense. It's because they rack together. You know, when you rack the balls, <laughs> mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Like racking titties. Together. They make that noise, like, dude. Don't no. they make yeah, that you noise? You ever banged two titties together? They click. <laughs> <laughs> you ever bang two titties together or no? <laughs> they click. They click. <laughs> <laughs> and if you got the lights off, you can see the spark. Like yeah, when man. you're when you're biting into a, a winter green oh, yeah. peppermint uh, so lightsabers. You, so your uh-huh. penis is the pool stick, and then mm-hmm. one of them is the cue ball, and the other you also one's bring the your eight balls. Ball. Wow, dude, that's just I believe, gets complicated. I think your balls are actually the cue ball. Oh, it's reverse fuck. pool. The balls uh, hitting the stick, <laughs> and the stick hits the pocket. titties. The pocket. Anyways, why'd you want to talk about titties? Uh, right, yeah. Racks in public. Let, let's say you guys go in to public. restaurants uh-huh. on the reg, right? Sure, because we're, like, we're rich. Sitting down. This guy went to uh, Sawgrass. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Let's say you're <laughs> sitting down at your table with Brian McFly. <laughs> okay. Let's say Brian McFly was on a date. How about that? Yeah. yeah. He's making the lady pay. Yeah. Sawgrass, yeah. having some steak on a date. He's a real one. And <laughs> he's sitting across from his date, but right behind his date yeah. is someone sitting like the table's you know, perpendicular view to wow. where you can see the two people behind you. Perpendicular. Yeah, yeah right? you can see the people sitting to their side. Just has the best rack you've ever seen. The yeah. best, Yeah, you say. How do you not keep your eyes off that? I'm bad at not staring sometimes. So I would stare at him, and if she caught me, I'd say, you got to see I'm these sorry, titties. These are insane. <laughs> I, I think Lady. I actually might. Not just her catching you, but the owner catching the you. The owner? <laughs> you mean her date or husband? <laughs> yeah, what about these titties? Oh, oh, do you mean the lady herself? Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant her husband. <laughs> Who? Like, what? what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, the lady herself. Who owns that pussy? <laughs> I do. Who's paying this Daddy? bill? Wow. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess I would I try mean, not to be get like, caught. She knows yeah. what she got. Yeah. I'm on Brian's boat. Hide him, dude. And also, if she yeah, if she right? catches me, I just like kind of like try not to look at him like, again. Oops. Or I do nice. that. Or I put up the OK nice. symbol to show her that I'm uh, white, white power. power. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nice. Hey, them tits. Choice. <laughs> Choice. <laughs> Choice. Thanks for bringing the goyles out. <laughs> what are you doing, Brady? You staring at them? Or you got, or do you have some kind of self control or something? You ever heard yeah. that? How do you avoid those? <laughs> you just focus on your date, like the dedicated person you are. Wow. Yes. Oh! Hey, burrito right. practices mindfulness, dude. He's like in the moment. He's uh. Don't tell me you're not gonna lock that one away though. Wow. The image. Yeah, you're gonna take a little you get the uh, snapshot. 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 Yeah. I gotta go wash my hands. What for the bike? <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> you know, this isn't exactly what you're talking about, but I went to Chili's. Maybe it is. Baby back ribs. <laughs> I went to Chili's like you got uh, a, rack of ribs. a couple months ago. Wait, she no, got a rack of ribs. Ago. Well, why did I go? It was there was some reason. There was some special occasion. Was it your birthday? Did you go for your free? Uh, no. Uh, my, my, side my, of my free thunder down under. No, that's something different. Thunder no, no, down. no. Your free. Uh, 
It's the milkshake. Uh, I was gonna say like a, a lava cake or oh know? yeah, is there some kind molten of lava? lava? Molten yeah, lava, molten lava yeah. cake. But no, I went there and like I was, I went there alone. I enjoyed it, and then uh, by yourself, by myself. I've and, never been to a Chili's by myself. It's not bad, and it was around three, so like no one was there. Were you on business? No. But there was like a girl. There's a girl. She, she wasn't just take it super hot, but she was like cute. <laughs> she was available. Was and what she, she was. Right. And was she the waitress? She was in proximity. Is what she was. No, she was there alone She's too. In and I was thinking, oh. I should go. I should hey, go. Kind of like on a date. <sighs> that would have been a, a nice date. That wouldn't have been a bad line either. I'm you like, guys are oh, making eyes. Kinda... What Tell are you me making, you're making eyes? eyes. Um, no, she, was. she I, wasn't. It is mine. They were making eyes. I mean, I probably was looking over there too often. I would say, but she was not reciprocating. Reciprocating, but I, you know. I'm sure if I want, I mean, if I walked over there, if I was a, a, a gentleman and a scholar, I would walk over. And I, what would I say? I would say, so, hey, it's kind of like, it's uh, kind of like we're on a date. Hey, I appreciate you showing up. I uh, rented out the place for us. <laughs> yeah. See, that's nice, dude. That's good. You know, I got him. I mean, Jim and I is like a fucking, <laughs> a he's, a P, he's a PUA, dude, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking pickup artist. You know, we just out here sometimes. It's a profession. Burrito's a sandwich artist. Gemini is a pickup artist. Arthur, what are you? You're a deal. You're a yeah, dealsman. Dealsman artist. He's an art. I'm a scam oh, artist. Yeah, you are a scam artist. Also a thief of hearts. Wow. <laughs> Only the fart jar farts. <laughs> I said hearts. Oh my bad. <laughs> what about you Paul McFartney, dude? Paul McFartney. <laughs> Tell us um, about this one, Gemini Jackson. Paul so, McCartney yeah. died in 1966. What? Okay. Are we doing the Paul is dead conspiracy? This is uh, old news. From dude. what I uh, understand, I'm not as well read on the Beeble- Beebles. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The Beebles. What's the, Beebles? The Beatles. Oh, I see. As uh, you guys are, I'm not super fan. Yeah, uh, but it's so coming from. It's like fly on the ball. You're learning new things. Yeah, exactly. It's so a complicated I, story. From what I understand, Paul McCartney died in a car crash in 1966. Yeah, like kind of like Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. But yeah. then they uh, they held a Paul McCartney lookalike contest. How uh-huh. they do that without getting that out into the news? They put the. This was 1966, buddy. It was all underground. So they put up flyers for this thing. How uh-huh. else? How did they get the word out for the contest? They're the Beatles, buddy. the news buddy. sniffing it out. I mean, the news was idiots back then. They have okay. some eyes. Yeah. yeah. The news Big was brother high was as hell. watching. Okay. Okay. Aliens. All right. Aliens. I buy it so far. Tom DeLong Dick. Sorry to interrupt. I buy it. So they replaced Paul McCartney's dead ass. <laughs> Dead ass. Dead ass Paul McCartney with this new Paul McCartney, arguably better Paul McCartney. Yeah. What do you say? I mean, he's still alive. He's still making records and stuff. This so. Is this a clone or another human? No, this is another human. Identity. His name was like Billy. Yeah. Billy Shears. Billy Shears. May I present to you another theory called Schrodinger's Paul McCartney, dude? Is that Paul McCartney Tell us never about died? It, Ryan. If he did die and there's still another Paul McCartney. This is the better one. This is like. Is like so did he die or is, yes. he, is he just still, you know? He's still paying taxes, so I guess no, he's not dead. The answer is yes to all your questions. Wow. Any question that you've ever had? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's some parallel that's in your favor. Oh, sure. That's what Contemino is. I you see. know, that's actually a really great kind of way to live your life. Is to that's think, how I live. Is to think that you're in the positive Contemino where everything is going to go right for you. Locus of control. Ah. Locus of control. So you got to shoot your shot because you're living that life, man. You're yeah, the main character. Are, well, okay. You live your life like that. You're in charge of your destiny. I go over to the Chili's Broad and I say, mm-hmm. hey... You yeah, I appreciate I like, you coming. Appreciate I appreciate you coming. I rented, I rented out place. this whole place for us. And she says, ooh, get away from me. That crushes me. Dude, my lotus control goes back down to zero. How am I supposed to stay in that positive? Can I ask you what your locus of control locus was of control. beforehand? Well, right before I walked over. Is that a one? It was pretty high. It was higher than normal. Was it? Oh, because you walked over. Because I walked over. Hey, don't you want to stay in that locus of control? Yeah, but then when she... Stay walking over? But she knocked me back down, dude. I'm a, oh, I'm supposed to like... I'm supposed You're to, supposed to get up again. I'm supposed to dust it off my don't shoulder. Don't ever let him get you down. Yeah. yeah. You only wumba is your problem. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you only wumba. Yeah, you're just wumbaing. When wumba-ing. you need to fucking chumba wumba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Get to chumba. Bro, the problem <laughs> here all along... You're getting knocked you down. You only fucking wumba, man. But you need to get up again. Oh, yeah. shit. And that's Ain't nothing going to keep you down. Dude, that's my... Uh, dude, silly me. That's where the chumba comes in, I think. Yeah. Look, I you figured out I figured out lunch's slogan. Lunch a wumba? Tell us about it, Gemini. Never just wumba. Never just wumba? Never just wumba. And I you don't have know. to just imply... The, the, it seems the a little ethnic. Imply. <laughs> I'm just saying it like that because yeah, that's dude. how I talk. But it can say never just wumba. What's a wumba? <laughs> it's controversial. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Burrito, what's a wumba? We're getting a definition. 
It sounds like a, a wombat. Never just wombat. Like something furry. Wumba. But yeah. Know what that Let's is. make sure Wumba isn't like. <laughs> Who is form? Wumba? Florence. Humba Slur. Wumba is a Native American shaman. Uh, Wumba. It's like doing something once, right? I like that definition. That is a good definition. Sounds made up, though. What's Chumba then? Doing it more than once. It's a prefix that redefines the I word. I don't think there's enough information out here. If it was something racist, I think it would have come up. <laughs> yeah, it would have been the first <laughs> hit. Yeah, people love talking about what's racist. There would be racist. like a WAPO article on it. Yeah. And then there would also be like a website dedicated to it. I think the bigger problem is it doesn't make much sense. So what were you at with this as Paul as McCartney conspiracy? It's not true. Uh, I'm sorry. Just crush it. It's true. Okay. I mean, it's Where fun. are you at with this burrito? Do you even give a Have shit? Have you heard of this? I hadn't heard of this at all until you guys posted it. And I was like, what? Yeah, it was a pretty big thing, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, yeah. A lot of people believe it. It is a conspiracy theory. I mean, the, okay. So uh, Jim and I just wrote out Never, never Just, just Wamba. Wamba. And it looks cool, but it doesn't make any What does it mean? Doesn't need to mean anything. But if we yeah, were, if we were the band Chumba Wamba and we wanted that to be our motto, that makes sense. We're I'm, just workshopping right now, man. Okay, sorry. I'm just, yeah, you're I didn't say no bad ideas. ideas. <laughs> Maybe you're going down I thought we said no path. bad ideas. <laughs> no. I want Chumba Wamba to sue us. Okay. You know the fucking press we would get if Chumba Wamba <laughs> sued us? <laughs> Wherever they're from, it would be in the local news. It you would get knocked press. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by by Wapo, they'd say and, and, we don't. Yeah. Care. Why do we care about Trouble Wombas? No, you just get intellectual you can property. Get somebody to write a blog post on Wapo for you. Yeah, about, pay, are you talking about payola, bro? You guys really about, like saying Wapo, don't you? About lunch, Wapo, dude, getting Wap. sued by gotcha. Chumba Wumba. Uh, yeah, anyway, is there any better fucking press than getting sued by Chumba Wumba? <laughs> yes, there's, there's a lot. Plenty. What's better than getting sued by Chumba Wumba? One thing, one thing. You think the new Gemini Jackson mask? Oh, okay, we're casted. Hype Never beast. just Wumba. Shit's fucking like thirty five hundred dollars, but it's sold Muncha. out. Dude, burritos, burritos like having He's like buying a, it, dude. He goes, wait. Never just it's Wumba. Wumba. Wow. Hey, what does this mean? Strip mall blues. Strip mall blues. I got the blues. This is just a traffic complaint, oh, and no. my dumbass focus of control. Focus of control. Going now. down the wrong <laughs> path. Oh no! You went down a one way. Yeah, man. I did too. And he's 12 years lane. old. Oh. And yeah. Wait, what do you mean? It wasn't one way. There was still two lanes, but Nobody one was going one way, and I was stuck in that the one. Wrong, wrong way. way. <laughs> Detours aren't really like shortcuts. You know no, what I mean? No, they never not usually. Are. No. And it was just a horrible experience. Man, so just imagine a line. Hey, hold on a second. Jim and I, we're what talking. are we singing? <laughs> it was the wrong way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be sublime. Maybe. Sliding no, it's not. Down. It's Sublime with Rome. Oh, don't forget about That's Rome. what I was singing. I wasn't singing fucking Sublime. Just okay? Sublime. Yeah. You get sued singing just Sublime, but now Sublime with Rome. With Rome. Didn't people like Rome? Who is Rome? Didn't people know who he was before that? I didn't. Maybe I didn't on either. a local level. I think so. Maybe he was like in the most famous Sublime cover band. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, I'm Rome from Sublime. Lennon Rome. Hey, Arthur. Sublime. What's going on? Sublime. What's this thing about that you went down the wrong way? No, it wasn't a wrong way. It was just the back alley uh-huh. of a strip mall. Oh. So you had to go all the way the around the fucking of the strip, strip mall. mall. Because like, there's no in and out between yeah. the whole, yeah. between the strip mall itself. Yeah, so, and near the end of the strip mall are two four-way stops. Wow. Ooh. So that like added at least two minutes to wherever you were going, right? The four-way stop? No, I all add, of it. Honestly, it added more than 20 Really? 20? Was, the line was 20 that fucking minutes? long. It was like 100 cars. Where were you literally. going? Wow, man. To your mom's house. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why does that even matter to the story? <laughs> what a fucking Why setup. Why does he always have to know what this shit? What a fucking shit. setup. No, he <laughs> only brought that up to burn you. <laughs> Why do you even know where I'm fucking going? <laughs> he only brought that whole story up. Maybe I was on my way here. minor inconvenience in a parking lot <laughs> to say, yo, there was literally 100 cars lined up to fuck your mom. <laughs> Look, I was the only reason I was asking where you were going is because the story sucked, dude. And I was trying oh, to, I was trying to figure out if we could find oh, out a way to make well, it more interesting. Dude. We could make it easier if your mom would open up a five lane highway. <laughs> Shit. I've been t- trying to tell my mom, I'm like, you know how efficient Chick Fil A is? Can we do something that with your house, like that with your house, with you? yeah. so that we can get like 250 cars during lunch break? Seriously, we out here. Fuck. So you fucked her. What? What was that like? <laughs> Sight. Gangbang cream pie. Yeah. 
Fourth Which, in line. Wow, really? Hey. Dude. After a shovel. Uh, <laughs> <or> a plunger. <laughs> Damn, Lance was there, dude. Lance is fucking <laughs> yeah, my mom. Lance yeah. is also fucking your mom. <laughs> hey, Lance Jesus is like he's Christ. a bit of an he's a bit of a dude, but he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy, yeah, man. He's, nice he's guy. the kind of guy you want at a gangbang. Yeah. You, yeah. Salt of the earth. Salt, salt of the earth salt kind salty. of guy. He's, salty he's digging earth. out everybody else's salt. <laughs> Just salty earth. <laughs> he's a salt miner. <laughs> Living the salt life, dude. Not by so the ocean. Inside your mom's like I vagina. Made the biggest mistake. Just <laughs> sitting in the strip mall line. You did. Where like, were you there going? There's no dude? way out. Where? Tell I was us going you... home. Oh, I was no. on the way home <laughs> to fuck your yeah. mom. It's very Wait, melodramatic. Mom... He's your dad now. <laughs> It's a, it's a whole thing. Yeah, you call my mom's house your home now, yeah. dude? That's fucked well, up. I'm That's the most fucked up part. Fuck your mom in my home. <laughs> hey, guys, if you if you hear Jim and I being like, like in kind of a flow state, it's yeah. because he's doodling right I'm now. I'm doodling like a bitch. He's uh, creating a brand. It's called Lunch. Look out for it. Lunch Look Apparel. It. Lunchapparel.com. Lunch with a T. Yeah. A superfluous T. I guess the T. Yeah, I mean, we're out here. This is decadent. It's more than just lunch, baby. Baby. It's lunch. It's lunch. It's treat yourself lunch. It's lunch. Yeah, cheese means treat yourself. The T means treat That's yourself. Not, dude, <laughs> the, <laughs> that in the middle sense. of lunch means treat yourself, meaning you masturbate while you eat. Now you can just put lunch and under it, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Lunch, treat yourself. That's great, man. Genius. Nice, Trade treat yourself. This is like uh, graffiti. Yeah. What's next? Uh, mushrooms. Munchrooms. Okay. This is for Dr. Smart Man. I've just started eating mushrooms recently. Really? Them psilocybin. Yeah. I did too, actually. Hey. No, for the longest Microdose. time, I, a burrito I, I knew didn't yeah, like I, mushrooms. I didn't either. I did not like oh, it. Oh, mushrooms yeah. in general? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I came around to them too, but today I had a negative uh, reaction to them. Oh, no. So me and Jim and I went for pizza today. A couple mm-hmm. slices amongst a couple, a couple slices, dudes. That's right. We're both dudes and we're, we had What's two a couple slices? slices betwixt two dudes? It's not gay. No, who said that? Who said it was gay? Arthur? A couple slices Brian's between 15. two dudes. <laughs> Brian's 15. No, this has nothing to do with my He's 15. screaming. So I go Day in there. Screaming. I get screaming. pepperoni, dude, and yeah. I get mushrooms on it. Sounds nice, pepperoni right? Pepperoni plus mushrooms. Yeah. Sounds, sounds two classic combo. By the slice. Yeah. Classic yeah. combo. Not bad. I open up the box, and it smells very shroomy. Oh, no. What they do you turned? think that... No, Do you think no, that's no, what no, it no. is? Because it was in a box, so like uh-huh. all the smells Uh-oh. were kind of accumulating. Yeah. So we got an overwhelming. Maybe they put a lot of mushrooms. Yeah. Maybe there was like lot. they put a little some of the juice in it or something. Maybe no, those, those are dry turns. Get a good batch, man. Could be a know. spoiling batch. But I started eating, and I was like, I wonder what this is. You th- and and I realized, dude. And here's here's where you come in, Doctor oh, Smart. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Smart Man. Here's where okay. you come in. I'm on an antifungal, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm on an antifungal. <laughs> And I'm wondering, dude, why do I have this this sudden aversion to mushrooms, dude? Is it the uh, is it the terbifeni that I'm taking, dude? 200, 250 milligrams. It's changing your brain chemistry. That's what yeah. it is. It's in my blood. It's terbif- It's in your blood, man. Terbifine, 250 milligrams. I mean, do you think it's possible that uh, this antifungal is making me uh, not enjoy mushrooms Mushroom as much? Yeah, maybe. Do are you, you really just, think that? Are you just fucking with me? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, the, that's what Jim and I smart man t- told me. Yeah, <laughs> I think I told you in the exact same way that uh, burrito smart <laughs> man told you. No, nah, man. No, I, I said man. yes at first, <laughs> and said, then really? you said for real. Yeah, nah. <laughs> with a twinkle in your eye, and I and said, you, uh, you fucking idiot. There it is. You fuck- There's that twinkle. <laughs> now it's time to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing y'all like but to destroy my twinkle. You gotta give him that hope first. Exactly. Exactly. There's nothing as delicious as destroying someone else's hope. It's crazy, dude, because I should know by now not to have hope. And yeah. yet I keep fucking... <laughs> hey, that's like, you know, that's... Uh, that's life, That's baby. one of your core values is always have hope. But deep down, I don't believe in it. Yeah. But I have it. You got it. You know what? I gotta keep, I gotta, I gotta keep living. You hold out hope that you're in that Quantimino... Where you're the main character, man. Yeah, and I Walk never up am. to that girl. I rented out the place. I for rented us. out the chilies for us. Yeah, thanks for that. That sounds so and goofy, then, though. And then she what, says, that, like, she, she rented out the chilies? Yeah. You don't Why? think that's a good line? What kind of pick up bullshit is that? It's no, just, it's, fu- it's so just goofy. Fest. So you're just goofing. Yes, of that's course. That's what yeah. pick up lines are for, gotcha. right? No, I'm, I'm slowly registering on it, but for the most part, it's to break the it's ice. It's a slow burn. Yeah, I, I mean, don't think I could deliver it that well. I would be, it would, I would deliver it dryly. I was telling uh, Jim and I that he's good at this because he has a certain uh, whimsy to it. Here, let's play yeah. this out. Say it to me. To you? Yeah. Oh, man, 
Is are you getting blushing? nervous? Are you I'm, fucking, I'm blushing? fucking blushing no, already? You're, you're getting it's not nervous a date. amongst your bros. You're just showing up, meeting up with your bros, and you want to make us fucking laugh. Do it. Yeah, just like Wait, that. Wait, so exactly. I'm talking saying to the bros? Yeah. yeah. Like, exactly oh, like hey, that. What are you thinking? That... Okay. Hey, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, I ran out the chilies just for us. Nice. What? Nice. What? <laughs> nice. Because it's empty? What? Because it's empty. Hey, I, I hey, uh, hey, Arthur, I appreciate you coming, dude. It, you know, when I ran out the chilies, I didn't know if you... But, uh, fuck, I don't know, dude. No, I got you, man. It's What's just... a better way to say it? No, hey, thanks for showing up. Uh, I rented out the place for us. <laughs> it's just not jiving with me. Is it jiving with you, Burrito? <laughs> um... No, it's I, not. I, I, it's not. I don't know, dude. I, I, I think 50, you need. 50. <laughs> I think she would say she go what? Yeah, she'd, she'd go, be what? like what? And I'd be like, oh well, you see, um, <laughs> we're both here alone, so I just thought it'd be funny if I rented out the place, huh? Like, cause who rents out a chili? Because who rent the the, the joke? The well, joke. Yeah, because oh, who, who, who rents who out would the do chili? that? Yeah. Oh, uh, a, rich, also, a rich man like me is who? That's is whomst? <laughs> Confident. <laughs> a rich man like me is whomst. What do you say, Dame? Since we're the only ones here, why don't we uh, neck? Yeah. Well, the she. So I was on. I was facing her. I was in a booth on one side of the booth, and she was like a couple booths down on the opposite Three side. So we were down. So we were facing each other. Damn. Was she your, different booths. Was she empty your steakhouse? Kryptonite? At a Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> three booths down. She was three booths down, and she was his kryptonite. <laughs> what do you think? Kryptonite. <laughs> what if I said that? <laughs> she was. She was probably like twenty three or so, and oh, yeah. uh, I don't think she would have gotten that reference. No, I'm mean, like, like there used like to be a the shitty music rock my band. My dad listens to. I'm like, let's t- talk to me more about that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a good relationship with her, or what? What's your daddy like? Him. Yeah. You mad at him? You mad at him? Want to talk about oh, it? Oh, what if you asked her this? Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? Is he rich like me? No, check this question yeah, out. Yeah, please. Where were we at with groceries? What does that mean? Like ass eating? Yeah. Never done it. I, we've talked about this. We had to have. No, you're yeah, on this because, date uh, yeah. with this 23-year-old that you're sitting across. Eventually, she comes over and sits by you. She did have a nice ass. I think I'm putting Eventually them on my the taste boards. Will come up. <laughs> yeah, the question comes up. She goes, she you says, have where are like you with groceries? Three cocktails in. Yeah. Three cocktails in, but Brian's sober, but she's three cocktails in. Okay. Well, where are we with groceries is what she says. She That's all she says. You. Where are we with groceries? And I say, where are you with your cleanliness and hyg- your butt hygiene? Oh, no. She's like, gonna... And then she's like, oh, no, I was uh, going to make us dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess I, I would pretend. I'm like, oh, sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> but I do want you to eat where my Where are you asshole. at with my cleanliness? <laughs> Bottom, where are you at with smooth. cleanliness? Yeah, yeah, where, that is pretty smooth. Is where like are you, where are you with, with wet you wipes? Don't, <laughs> <laughs> you got any dude wipes or no? Yeah. Where are you at with them wet wipes? Where what? are you with your cleanliness? At that point, I don't care if it's smooth. I want to know, if I'm going to eat your ass, is it gross? No, it's clean as a whistle. Like, she cleans it before you get down. And Look, after. I mean, that's fine. That's the only way I'm going to do it. I've never like done fresh it before. Shower. I don't, it's never, it never smells like fresh shower. <laughs> ass in the shower doesn't yeah. smell like fresh shower. Yeah. <laughs> Currently I, being washed ass I don't does like not it. smell like I don't shower. like the smell, dude. I can't get past it. It's not about the smell. It's about the, the taste. What is it about? <laughs> oh, it's about the, the touch. Uh, it ain't about the smell. It's, it's about, about the metallic taste, taste dude. <laughs> yeah. Is it metallic? It's like, yeah, like a flesh. The iron. <laughs> flesh like. Oh, chicken fries. Sick. I'm just, uh... <laughs> He's just... Oh, I got, uh, I got another uh, write-in. Tell us about it, Gemini! You're meeting your parallel at the mall. Oh, yeah. Okay, what is this again? I oh. don't really know. So, let's just say you have these doppelgangers, and they're not exactly like you, but they're like you. Mm-hmm. And they just happen to listen to Slam City and pick up on the tropes. Okay. And so you hear some shit, like, tip to taint. Oh, wow. yeah. Over a conversation. Wow. If I heard... Actually, Where are you maybe going with someone this? else has heard tip to taint. Is said tip to taint. I want to believe you that. You tell was, me you don't own tip to taint? I bought tip to taint.com, but then I lost it because I didn't renew it. Now it's a porn site. Fuck. Really? Is that true? Damn. It's true. Tip to taint. Don't he really it. wants to look don't this do up. It. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to, but. Um, <laughs> You're going to meat spin. Is it true, though? No. I wish it were. Me too. It's I mean, okay. maybe it's available. Why you got to call him out, man? I just like to know what the truth <laughs> of the matter is. Oh, that's the mask. the mask. That's, that's my... the mask from last episode. Yeah, it's the mask, but it's also the lunch. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, the that's, lunch that's cool. Gemini Jackson's really inspired on the apparel line here. Dude, lunch. That looks yeah. a lot cooler than. Look for uh, it. Yeah, put that the... mask with lunch underneath it. Solid. Yep. That's or, another design. Or going down one of the curves. So, anyways. You just like letting the curve define you. I like the curve. Are you talking about that's the right. one where it wraps around? Yep. Okay. No. Hey, I was just making a logo. Okay, cool. so I parallel person. Someone's talking about finger being the finger king. Something like that, yeah. And then uh, what do I do? What's, what now what? You fighting him? Am I fighting them? Or are you striking up a yeah, conversation? It's like what a are you Pokemon doing? Honestly, gym battle. I are you going to ask him to battle in the gym? Well, probably because I spend my whole life projecting... I spent my whole life getting mad at people for doing things that I do myself, so I would probably fucking hate this guy. For talking about tip to taint? How are we at the psychology? How are we at the psychology burrito? Where he's at with this? <laughs> yeah, Meeting why don't you psychoanalyze him? And hating his doppelganger. doppelganger. Yeah. He hates so much like me. I'm assuming that you would like your doppelganger. Doppelpopolis? The question is, <laughs> would I suck his dick? for Queen Doppelpopolis. <laughs> That's right. Oh. You did go back in time. Who is your, uh, oh yeah, are you sucking your own dick? Do you like your doppelganger burrito? I hope so. Okay. That's a man who's well adjusted. Mm -hmm. He's living in the moment. That's focus of the locus. All right, last one. Wife phone. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering because I don't have a girlfriend, never have, never will probably. But um, I was just wondering, dude, what's, if you don't mind talking about it, dude, what's the phone policy? Is it, I know you don't probably don't talk about what the phone policy is, but are they just like, I guess the thing is, okay, can I just guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, sure. My guess is that you just want to have a pure phone because they're probably going to be on your phone at some point. So I guess you don't want to. How am it, I? You're not gonna do worried about, What am I worried about? Is it worried? Like, That's a good question. Is it because like, I'm not texting other women. Right, right. So, really, I got nothing else to worry That's true. about. It. So, okay. I guess you're you, talking about browser history? Maybe, bro what, what, where are you at a browser keep history? Keep it clean, man. Incognito. I got a system <laughs> to keep it segregated. But I think I would have that even if I was single. Just yeah. because it, uh, it's in case hygiene. I got to do it's like uh, work stuff or someone sees my phone, I don't have to worry about somebody stumbling on my. Uh, my OnlyFans. <laughs> Gemini OnlyFans. Only, yeah. OnlyFans.com forward slash Gemini Jackson. I, I just, bet there is one. <laughs> Gemini, yeah. I just wonder, though, like, uh, if I had a girlfriend, I would like her to be okay with whatever... Pornogs? Whatever pornogs I'm doing, dude. Is this your pop doing, song, If I Had a Girlfriend? What's it called? If pop I Had a Girlfriend. Pop 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 if I Had a Girlfriend, yeah. She'd be cool with my porn. If I Had, I had a, girlfriend, a Girlfriend. She'd give me a blowjob every morn. Every morn. Born. I don't know. Never mind. I guess, a girlfriend. I guess I didn't think this out. You know, she yeah. fucks so good. You're in a corner, and man. If I had girlfriend, I'd never have morning wood. <laughs> no. <laughs> she Anyways. drains my balls. Also, also <laughs> here's the. Da -da, she <laughs> drains my balls. <laughs> da -da, also, drains my balls. Here's the rub a dub dub. Oh. Brian McFly in the tub. Hey, <laughs> ladies. Is that my girlfriend, she wouldn't care about my porn, dude. And she would also wouldn't care about the other girls that I'm sexting with. Damn. Yeah. So but that's the, the rub. rub. That's Open the rub. relationship? Yeah. Because you wouldn't give a shit about all the dudes she's fucking. I, got, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I would. So this perfect woman, dude, if you're out there. Hit him up. Hit him hey, up. If she really is the perfect woman for you, that's she, a, uh... She only wants fingers. Yeah, she's she coming only wants to the fingers, finger king. and she doesn't want any other fingers. Nope, only your fingers. And no other dick. Yeah, well, only human. Yeah. It's asking a bit much, <laughs> Mr. What's McFly. that song? There's that uh, Weezer song. Uh, my or my girl said a big mouth. With a no one else. Yeah, no one else. Makeup on the shelf. Yes. She knows around and around and know it make me sad to see her like that was double X quantum and not oh. Ooh you smooth. Man, you smooth. Winks. Loot the house financial advisors. When you gotta move some weight. Well wait. Will you help diversify holdings? Flat rate. Always great. Julio gets it done. Call Julio at the house today. Or regret it tomorrow. Julio at the house. And this 
is the news. Top of the hour. Man faces deportation after being caught masturbating in his car alone. Deportation, masturbation. Dang. Deportation, I masturbation. I mean, would it be masturbation if he wasn't alone? Well, we have Burrito yes. in the helicopter. Burrito at the scene with the in the helicopter. <laughs> See, there's a guy alone in his car. What is this car we're coming across? We yeah. could have just... Uh, yeah, go ahead. He appears to be a Nepalese man. 26. He appears, he appears to be some to be kind of Indian a man. Honda CRX. Oh, a Crix. <laughs> a 26-year-old Nepalese man in a Honda CRX. Huh. How did you know he was 26? Say you counted the rings. The- <laughs> Say you counted the rings. <laughs> <laughs> I counted the rings. Uh, now, hey, Burrito. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm back here. Yeah. It's Brian McFly back at the desk. I was using my uh, binoculars. <laughs> yeah, you got your binoculars. I got a question. As the person who's doing the news in the helicopter, why aren't you just uh, letting this guy have some uh, gosh damn privacy? Why is this even news? Why are you? So what? This guy's alone. He's not harming anybody. What are you doing out there? Cause this, that's what they pay me to do. Oh, uh, you're the you're I'm the, the masturbation the police. Chopper. Well, actually, he was in the middle lane of traffic. Oh, is that true? He had a, what's what? called a Pat Sajak attack. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh wait, he just had to stop and and whip it out. Oh uh, wait, there's more, dude. Did you read this whole thing? No, what happened? Tell us about it, Brian. Okay, a man faces deportation after being caught masturbating in his car alone. ABC reports that to the, the listeners. I think that's Australian ABC reports that the Nepalese man, 26, was working as a delivery driver when the offense occurred. The man had reportedly finished his shift early and headed to a local park, assuming no one was around. He's trying. He's not. He's not. He doesn't what want anyone to see. Hour. This is no crime. You're doing it in public. This is no crime, dude. Yeah, I guess it's not. Would it be different if you're in your house with your windows open and you're jacking off? It would be a little bit different, I guess. It's the same. But if he's trying to, like, hide himself, he's like, I got to jerk off. I don't want anyone to see. It'd be one thing if he was like, watch me. Watch me, whore. Yeah. Maybe you would. But, like, why was he doing it in the park? Was it for nefarious reasons? He had nowhere else to go. It was just an emergency. He just got off his shift. Yeah, he probably has a big fat titty coworker, dude. <laughs> he just had to like. He's not yeah, gonna he's... do it at work. He's gonna. He, he's he's a respectable man. He's gonna do it in his car. He's gonna try to hide himself. And then burrito with his fucking <laughs> masturbate mobile, dude's gonna. He come has over there. fucking night vision. <laughs> and but on the helicopter, <laughs> you just see this dude beating off in the in infrared. <laughs> Yeah, dude. You see right through his car. Fucking, just like <laughs> you just like fucking Batman for jerking off, dude. Fuck, dude. What's that superhero's Look, name? I'm just reporting the facts. Batman, dude. Not Buster. Fat man. <laughs> Fat man. No, 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 Fat man. No Fat man. No Fat man. That's where it is. No Fat. No Fat man. Anyways, dude. Speaking of no Fat. As his defense attorney, I say throw the shit out. Let the man masturbate. Speaking of unfortunate situations... Well, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. If a man masturbates in a park and no one's around... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> does does it make a sound? Schrodinger's fat. Does it dude. actually Schrodinger's fat? Schrodinger's fat. Does he actually come? <laughs> <laughs> That's Schrodinger's fat. Is, man, is, dude, I thought... Dude, you're going to have to be my uh, co-counsel or whatever they call yeah. it. Yeah. Well, you need your Johnny Cochran. Yeah, that's I right. I got the dude. rhymes. Yeah, dude, the, you're the closer, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Woman wasn't prepared for the price for after taking four kids for chicken and chips. Oh no! Well, this is the new you know. chicken and what? chips. I'm gonna say she was out sixty quid. It was about that much. It was a crazy Damn. amount. Fifteen bucks, or uh, I guess eighteen. Fifteen to twenty. 20. Yeah. Doesn't she know about the chicken? Uh, Doesn't she know about the growing rates these days? The chicken crisis. Should have went to Thigh Stop. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They said they didn't discount her for things that she Why got is this a to news combine story? them into the mail. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing news, dude. This is like a Facebook post turned into a news story. It's a highlight on the inflation crisis. I oh, guess I so. See. But it's just like a weird slice of life. It's type, like, yeah. Like it's, UPI. A, it's a shock that prices is have this gone UPI? so high. <laughs> is this UPI, no, dude. Not. Okay. Uh, it's Manchester. It wouldn't be UPI because it's, it's not uh, about a lotto. It's yeah. It's not about lottery Guinness World Record. And it's, in, it's in England. It's not about an overdue library book. <laughs> <laughs> UPI. Dude, what? Who's funding UPI? You You're know, on notice, UPI, dude. You know what UPI stands for? Only the finest news. <laughs> 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 Only the finest news incorporated. This isn't even a person that they just found. It says it's the reporter. Oh, no! She just had a bone to pick and wrote a fucking blog post? Stop it! 
<laughs> this is an op-ed? Damn, dude. Wait, wait, why would she, why would she quote it as woman? Is this a news story That's covering what that the article? Editor came up with the headline. <laughs> wow. Editor in chief or the publisher. It's, it would seem very disingenuous to interview yourself for a story that you're writing. <laughs> yeah, it should say, I wasn't prepared for price. Well, it's yeah. like party of five. It Chicken would, and chips. It should just say, I'm a broke ass. 70 yeah. bucks. With two Where Zs you guys or dollar signs. These days. Broke ass. Broke ass. ass. Relate to the sting. So, chicken and chips. Be what you'd expect. Well, look, if you went to, what, T22 or something, you'd yeah. be out the same. Yeah. That's probably what it was. But if you went to uh, Raisin Cane's, it'd probably be like 40, 50 bucks. It's probably like more close to being Raisin Cane's than a, a T22. I mean, yeah. 44 bucks, that might as well be $5.5 million if you ask me, dude. So, there's this development deal. I'm just going <laughs> to hey, summarize it. it. Sure, yeah. yeah. Development deal. $5.5 million gets canceled. Because the guy applying for the loan owns his adult baby shop. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Wait, that seems insane. They find it immoral, so they're like, we're not giving Wait, you There's a loan. morality clause on a fucking loan? No, with the company that's given the loan. Let's see what this says. The owner, it's like the Chick-fil-A of bank loans. The uh-huh. owner of a woodworking company said the city of Noblesville reneged on a $5.5 million deal because he wouldn't shut down a baby shop for adults. What is a baby shop for adults? You know, they adult sell, diapers, yeah. baby play. Is adult that right? Size onesies, baby play. Yeah, Big some bottles. people are fucking weird about. It. I mean, just let these guys pretend they're little babies. Look, dude. it's insane <laughs> that you want to shut down an adult baby shop that, by all means, shouldn't be open because how are they even making business? That's <laughs> the main issue, dude. <laughs> Through Amazon. Yeah, they're an Amazon distributor. That makes sense. So, like, let them stay. Do you think the guy was like, oh, he's going to use some of this money on the baby shop? Is that how it uh, works? This, I don't they were like, so. hey, is this baby shop money? And he kept looking away and saying, no. No. <laughs> now they told him up front, you got to shut down the baby shop. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Takes no. out the pacifier. Uh-huh. No. What, you, what, else can no. You get, what else can you get at this, dude? This At baby this shop. Pacifiers. Mommy's everything. milk? I don't think you can get no. mommy's milk. I don't know. I think that- it's just adult version of baby shit. Diapers, bottles, everything you onesies, need. Onesies, bibs, strollers, blankets, high chairs, high chairs, <laughs> high chairs, <laughs> really big high, chair. high chairs, high chairs. What's it What's called? The... Mobile. What? Mobile. Noblesville. Mobile, like the thing that goes around your. Uh, oh yeah, like oh, a yeah. diorama. Mm-hmm. Usually plays little lullaby. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you think people go in there and then they like shit their diapers in the store? or They put a kibosh on that. I don't think they do that. It said at in the front. <laughs> so no, no, shit no dirty and, diapers. Yeah. <laughs> Clean diapers only. Did you already say like a big clothespin? Yeah. <laughs> Large <laughs> novelty clothes size clothes pins. Novelty <laughs> size clothespins. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. An man. adult size cradle. God, yeah. I, I mean, it would be, chair. It, I'm not one of these guys. Rocking horse. But I mean, I could see how having like a mommy changing my diaper might be nice every now and then. I think they like shitting themselves and pissing themselves. I don't like that part. I, I wouldn't mind pissing myself because that has I, to be part of the equation though. Haven't I told you guys that I like to piss myself at the beach before I jump in the ocean? Yes. <laughs> Many times. So I, <laughs> I get it. The warmth of the pee is nice too, but the shit is, you can't get out. The pee doesn't smell as bad compared to shitting yourself, I don't think. Imagine shitting yourself where someone's required to change, I don't take like the that. shit away from you no, and wipe like your whole ass, your hairy asshole. <laughs> Like cakes, your hairy whole cake and, and tell you what a naughty prat you've been. I don't know that that part. I'm okay with. And then uh, <laughs> you know, naughty bl- prat, blush up your bottom. Oh yeah, Hi. give me a little little a little, uh, little tap, pouty. Tap. Little Are pouty. you telling him to bleach his butthole? No, I'm no, you're getting you get a little bit, a little powder. Get a little flush. Get a little, on yeah. my tushy, dude. Yeah, exactly. Because you've been a pratty I've little, little brat. Pratty little brat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's developing. <laughs> yeah. And it turns out your mom is your sister. By the way, oh, I think wow. I'm into feet now, guys, now that we're into this. Into feet? Well, this Did is... you find a nice foot? I found a nice foot. I don't mind the foot. Sometimes I touch the foot during coitus. Where are you at with foot jobs? Wait, do you put the foot in your mouth? No, no, I don't like the foot. Babies put their feet in their mouth. <laughs> Babies put their feet yeah, in their mouth. Put your own feet. That's your what mommy tells feet. me. I keep putting my foot in my mouth. She goes, are you a big boy or are you a baby? Because babies put their feet in their mouth. And that's why you have fungus foot. <laughs> because that's you keep putting you your feet fungus on your, your mouth. <laughs> and that's why it's in your bloodstream, because you keep eating it. It's a vicious cycle. I like it. <laughs> it's It's tangy. <laughs> Anyways. No, I, I'll touch the foot. and if the What do you mean touch the foot? Just like, like hold it. 
He's just being intimate, holding it, hold it, it touching it. Interlock fingers with it. Are you no, smooching with it? Don't tell me you're smooching with it. I have not put done mouth you, stuff like, with you it. You're pressing your nose against it and inhaling deeply. But are you put, sucking the big toe? Are you seeding no, on it? No, I don't it? like any of that. But she does put it on my dick, and I don't mind that if it's clean. Did she get both of them? Make a little tent? No, she hasn't done that yet. Are you working that? Because I feel on? like th that's when you you graduate into an official foot guy if they, if she jerks you off with her feet. I don't think that's gonna convert you. You don't think so? You convert no. yourself. I think there's something externally of locus. In your brain. In your brain, yeah. <laughs> your brain's busted to where, like, the foot is the sexy part. You're saying it's not a choice. Yeah. Yeah, like, like you don't even have to feel it on you. Right. You can just see it. You see it and you come. Yeah, I mean, that's insane yeah. to me. Wouldn't that be... How do you even, like, walk That'd around? be awesome. How do you go to the beach? That would be awesome. Like, so instead of pissing um, yourself, you're just coming and then you're walking into <laughs> the ocean. You're just shooting blanks yeah, at that dude. point. You need a cum diaper, dude. Yeah, you're just out here you're... raising the salt content of the yeah, ocean. you're the reason why it's a salty ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's right, dude. All I the kids around you are like, ah, oh, my eyes are burning. Is it my fault or is it the feet being out the fault? Okay. I mean, yeah, that's the... Yeah, that's what's what's the, the, where's the locust? Is it my broken brain or I, this I, lady's feet? I didn't choose... Four dudes... Thank you. So, anyways, baby shop, let them live. Live and let die. And stay away from that sea salt. Food truck fanboys, you haven't lived until you've conquered the crazy one. Intergalactic Bobber Runner Booba Get serves you everything in the crazy one. Infinite calories for a not so infinite price. $9.95. Best bring your appetite, because the crazy one has everything. No substitutions, no. Don't give up your much done cred by asking for no pickles or no onions. Booba won't hold the mayo, because it wouldn't be the crazy one if it didn't have everything. Next time you have a craving for clout that will get your feet wet. Find the most badass food truck in the galaxy and order the crazy one from Booba Gets. Abu Gets, and I gets it, so get it. You know, Slam Citizens, Burrito has always dreamed of being a Japanese hotel concierge. Really? Despite not being Japanese and only able to direct you to the nearest Mr. Donut, please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay more comfortable, and please take these complimentary headlines free of charge. This is Burrito's Nippon News. So no charge on the complimentary headlines. Right? That's why they're complimentary. No. Uh, what is what's yeah. Mr. Donut? Am I supposed to know that? It's a Japanese donut shop. Chain. A friend of the show. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Donut is a friend of the show. Richard Donut. I think it sounds like a gentleman. Old dude. Dick Donut. Majeure Donut. Donut Majeur. Are there some in uh, Slum City? No. No. It's a man. Oh, there's one in. Uh, oh, there's some in Austin, right? Or is that different? We're in Japan. No, they're, different. they're only in Japan. It's spelled oh, out I Mr. Well, M I S T. Well, well, there's some in other countries, but they actually started in the U.S. And then they really? left because nobody wanted them. By Harry and they Winokur. Left, some of them became uh, Duncan. Oh, yeah. I see they that. bought them out, shut them down. They, them out. they yeah. maintain a presence in Japan, El Salvador, the Philippines, wow. Thailand, Taiwan, Lagos, and Ibadan. Ibadan. Great. In Nigeria. Which, if you spell it, yeah. if you pronounce it wrong, it's bad. Very bad. Whew. I always thought it was concierge. <laughs> Honestly. Concierge. What did he yeah. say? Concierge. Concierge. Oh, I think or you say the concierge. G. I always said the G. Concierge. Yeah. Yeah, I bet I'm supposed to say G. Concierge. How do you say it, Brian? It's French, right? Yeah, concierge. concierge. What do you mean? Where is that? Concierge. Hotel Japanese concierge. Japanese hotel concierge. Oh, yeah, concierge. Oh, I, okay, G. in French, concierge. Yeah, you would say the G. G. What about these board games? <laughs> I'm kind of bored. Ooh, Osaka's Trap. hotel games. Hell yeah, dude. Ooh. Trap. Dude, Norm, when Norm, uh, did you see that uh, when he was on Conan and he was... Norm from Cheers? Norm McDonald. Uh, Norm McDonald. Chairman of the board. Some lady was... was. Uh, anyways, go ahead. You can watch it on. Just look, right. forget about it. Cool. Just cut that out, J-Mark. Yeah. Gonna... Osaka's hotel games isn't now. just full of board games. It is a game. Mm. There's a new hotel in, in Osaka, and they got uh, a lot of board games. It's like a board game-themed hotel. Anyone can go in there and, <laughs> this and a play. Game. This is a fucking game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a fucking game. This ain't a fucking game. <laughs> All right, around the room. You think this serious is a serious action game? movie? <laughs> Do you think this is a fucking game? Is this a fucking Brian, game to you? It's a Frito. fucking game to you. I'm sorry, is this a fucking game to you? <laughs> is this a fucking game Fuck to you? you? Sorry. Do you think this is a fucking game? Yeah. 
It's a fucking no, game. It's, it's a fucking no, game. You think this is a hotel. fucking game? <laughs> is that the name of this hotel? <laughs> you think this is a fucking game? It should be. Yeah. Honestly. It's called King Game. It's a PC version. I the whole ver- the whole LLC is, do you think this is a fucking game oh. LLC? But it's King Game. Nice, dude. This what guy mean all by I think this about branding. What do they mean by this headline? This guy... Okay, so anyway, I think it's just called hotel games. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so so they got a lobby, and you can you can go and, and play any of the games that they have. The there. Hobby, hobby lobby. It's, oh, hobby uh, lobby makes more sense because it's games. They got yeah. an all you can play format for right, twenty five dollars better per though. It's person. funnier. Say that again. It's twenty five dollars per person to, to go in for and, all you can play to play board play, games. Yeah, and any of the board games room? that they got. What about the or room? Or any other games? You can also rent rooms, and the rooms are themed. Get so, a room. You know, you can uh, you can play. And is there a and twister room? Probably. Is there a jump to conclusion oh, wow. room? Probably. A twister room. Yeah. Let's bring twisted. all the ladies, man. No, Wayne's not invited. Wayne, also, you can stay also, the fuck home. Uh, not invited, Wayne. <laughs> You're uninvited. Murder mystery room, so you can have oh, uh, murder shit. mysteries oh, yeah. and stuff in there. Like an escape room. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm into is, that. But, but you just kidnap ladies and you pretend is it's there a escape milking room. table. Room? Yeah, what about Law and Order SVU? Maybe. Uh, room? <laughs> <laughs> I like that game. Yeah. There's come inside of the cadaver. <laughs> is there a sex dungeon? It wasn't here before. Ting ting. I this mean, I feel idea. like there could be. There's games. Uh, there's stuff drawn on the floor, so you can like pick hopscotch. Like what are you conclusions, think? Matt? How many people, I guess, are on the elevator? What? Well, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a guessing game. Yeah, like, like I guess three, I guess one. Brian uh, is so closer. unamused right now. Like, like, <laughs> you were close you win, dude. You I was closer without going over. <laughs> Wait, waiting there was for, two. The, for the doors to open, then you know you. Oh you, come on! You what if you just had a like, conversation stand. for thirty-five yeah. seconds? <laughs> <laughs> what if you just put up your phone this once? <laughs> why don't you stay in the moment? <laughs> yeah, why do we have to like distract ourselves with games, dude? That's your Why can't this be a Osaka's Osaka's mindfulness uh, retreat? Hotel. This hotel. isn't a game. <laughs> yeah, this is. This, this isn't a game. This, life isn't a game, this dude. Is a this game. isn't a game. Wake up. This isn't a game. You gotta have the T. This isn't a game. This isn't a game. This isn't a game. Uh, <laughs> anyways, sounds like fun. Speaking of games, Japan has instant ramen booster packs. Oh no, uh, boost. Yeah, they got just more noodles. Packs. Not more noodles, more ingredients, more flavors, spice. toppings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our favorite uh, munchrooms ramen manufacturer. Pissing with Nissen. With Nissen. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna adopt that soon. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. We're getting close. You can buy a box of booster packs. The different flavors are mystery meat. Excellent. <laughs> Sh- shrimp. <Just> being honest. <laughs> Scrimp. Shrimp. Uh, green onion. Scrimp. Yes. Potato, cheese, nice. tomato, Good. okay, egg, and All right. spicy mm. mystery meat. No. Spicy mystery meat is yeah. probably the best one. <laughs> yeah, dude. Spicy mystery meat. It sounds meat. like you're talking about your stinky damn dick, dude. <laughs> you talking about your stinky dick? I like to call my dick spicy mystery meat. <laughs> yeah, my feed the homeless. This is kind of cool. Hey, you what know? do you do on the weekend? Oh, hey. I feed the homeless. What's your recipe? Spicy mystery meat. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like it usually. Yeah. <laughs> I got something to say about this article. Excellent. Yeah, let's, what do you got to say, happens. dude? I trademarked this shit like 10 years ago when I even had a name for it. The what booster packs? It? Yeah, the booster packs. This is just, you know, just more Higher booster packs of the ingredients to the same amount of noodles and water, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I called them ramen hancers. Ramen hancers. Yeah, trademarked yeah, that shit. Bro. It was like, what nice. are these? Ramen hancers. They're just out booster here. Booster packs, man, 10 years later. Booster pack. Did you get your booster? That's the uh that's what they say out there, dude, when they're trying to be funny. Yeah. I got it never it. works. They're, they're never funny when they say it, but they say it. They say it a lot. They though. say it a lot. They, they, say, they, they stay booster? saying it. <laughs> Speaking of saying it, say anything. Oh, dude, are, are you about to say it, dude? Frito, are you gonna there. say it? He's going there, dude. Are oh, you gonna no. say it, dude? Don't He's do it. it. Well, am I gonna no, say? Go it? <laughs> is it the word? Um, donut the word is the word. Donut. I think donuts the word. What, what, what about donuts? Donuts and fried chicken. Come oh, together. I didn't mean it. Damn it! In new Mister Donut Burger. Oh wow! Yeah, together for the first time. That sounds nice. We're Japan adjacent right now. This is going on in Taiwan. Oh wow! Yeah, but there's a, there's a Mr. Donut. It's not a real country. <laughs> Mr. Donut is not a real country. 
in a chicken chain named 21 plus. 21 pile steak. That's, that's right yeah. at X. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they got two pondering donuts, and then they put fried chicken in between them. That sounds good, actually. That's a genius idea. <laughs> that sounds really delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Luther, but uh, Nashville Luther. What's Luther? And chicken. Are you a Luther? It's a burger between a donut. Mm-hmm. I think I prefer chicken than, than, uh, than, than beef? ground beef, yeah. Yeah, because it's like chicken and waffle type yeah, flavor. Yeah, exactly. What's the menu price? Eleven ninety nine. I'm out. Comes with fries. Oh, I might be in. Comes with donuts. <laughs> Is there a special? $6 what about a side of donuts? And 53 cents. Oh, that's dude. That's amenable, dude. That's seven seven dollars. Wow. Julio would pay for that. I would pay for I'm that. I'm not flying your fucking asses to Japan. Is this a fucking game? Julio always says, do you think this is a fucking game? Do you think this game? is a fucking game? I'm do sorry. Do you think this is a... F- I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh forgive on. me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> sorry. I was misleading there. Oh, no. <laughs> it's $6.53 for the burger and fries and a drink. Oh! Shit! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last night, I awoke in a sweat, the cravings arising from deep within my loins. The salty taste of her belly, her humid heat warmed my tongue. The soft crunch of that corpulent pancita, oh, where was I to find a greasy slab of fat to satiate such forbidden desires? Then I remembered Thickum Farm's country bacon. Well, howdy, y'all. I'm Jimmy Thickum, president and CEO of Thickum Farms. We farm raise our triple C standard hogs to be the thickest and the quickest. All greased up and ready to go. Well, I start every morning with the slickest, thickest trim, fresh from the hog. When you need a slice to fill you up nice, get the martyrs pumping and those veins are popping. Thick, thick them. Thick them farms. Thick Farms Country Bacon is available at the Thick Farms booth at the Slam City Farmers Market every Saturday and Sunday morning. Not recommended for children under 18 or women who are nursing or pregnant. Side effects include, but are not limited to, sore jaw and fingers, itis, and erections lasting longer than four hours. Ooh, come to Papi Cerda Gorda. Everyone's entitled to the truth. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Slam City Radio. Get in touch with us through our contact form at slamcityradio.com. We'll send you a sticker, then ask you where you'll stick it. Subscribe, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all day, every day. Scram! I said split! Check the scene, you turkeys! Get out of my house! I'll see y'all tomorrow. Is that too much? Hit him up!